social change and technological change do often go hand in hand. And if you look at alternative, alternative in inverted commas, ways of living, like Findhorn or Hockerton, uh, then you see that it's not just a question of going into Curry's or Dixon's and buying a new green fridge or a new green washing machine. It's about doing something more than that. It's about a different kind of house, a different shaped house, a house with different energy properties, perhaps with different relationships with neighbours. It's about that's an example of lots of technologies in, these, in, the, in the different ways that people want to try to live alternatively are wrapped up in different ways of behaving and living with each other, often in communities. So they're, they're classic examples of, of the relationship between the two. I think communities like Hockerton, Findhorn, to that list we could add uh, the Centre for Alternative Technology in Mahuntleth in Wales, and a whole host of uh, similar eco-communities around Europe and around the globe. There's an eco-village network, for example, globally. They're extremely important because all of us realise at the back of our minds we know that certain patterns, certain patterns of consumption are not sustainable, whether we've studied a course on it or not, whether we're an engineer or somebody who studies humanities or doesn't study at all. We know, we each have our own sense and stories about the finite nature of the Earth. And so we want all of us to know that places like Hockerton and Findhorn and Cat at Mahuntleth, they exist because it's there that the knowledge about alternative ways of living remains and grows. If you like, they're a sort of cultural and technological seed bank we might think this, they're a sort of seed bank for the, that remote possibility that all these scare stories might be right and that one morning we might wake up and that we might have to pick up the phone if the phone lines still work and call our friend at Findhorn or at Hockerton or at Mahuntleth and say, how do you build a composting loo? Because I need to do that. So I, I think they're extremely important in motivating people. <laughs>